Meanwhile, in an alternate universe where Spiffo is stingy and chooses not to sell out $100,000 for, uh, 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 for a crappy item, um, she, she's about to get her knees kicked in. <laughs> oh, no. Not so, my knees. Effectively, if you choose not to pay the money up front, you actually end up in a boss fight with Grand Drachmon. So this is effective. It's effectively an optional boss fight where, where if you pay the money, you're not you're effectively not only paying for the crappy item, you're also paying to skip this fight. Well, fuck that noise! Give me the XPs. Exactly. It's literally. Like, I I always choose to do the boss fight because I I just I just he gives out a lot of fucking experience. I just prefer to do that. Like he is significantly stronger than Gaiomon, except as you guys are about to see. At my current levels, that doesn't mean too much. As you can see. <laughs> oh, gee, oh, Jesus. You even started out with a critical. Holy shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> great start. I, I like the idea behind this concept of, ch of, choosing, of, of choosing your path. They just didn't do it that well in this game. Like, a game that I could think of where they did, where, where they did this kind of thing really well. Go, let's, let's go back to Super Mario RPG. Do you guys remember Booster Tower and at the, to at the top of Booster Tower where Mario had to hide behind the curtains from Booster and, from Booster and, and, and his sniffets? Yes. Yeah. So like if you if you if you if you don't get caught, he gives you a really good item. If you do get caught, you have, like like you have to fight him and you, you can get a little experience from that. So it's like it liter it really is, you know, a much better a much better way it's handled because um well, for one thing, Booster's boss fight doesn't actually give a whole lot of experience, so there actually is some incentive to win to, to winning the cur to, uh, to winning the curtain mini game. But even then, it's still experience that you can get if you don't care about his item. Even though it is, I, I, I forget what item it was, but it was a really good item. So regardless, right? That was just a game that handled this kind of concept way better than, than this one. Like again, don't get me wrong, I really like this game, but there were some things that could have been polished a little better. Uh, right, right, understandable. Oh, so I got crazy ice blast. Hell yeah. Fuck big ice blast. And I got crazy ice blast. <laughs> crazy ice blast. And forlorn fang. God damn, that sounds like a kick ass move. Forlorn fang. And he gets it, and Alamon gets it too. Fuck yeah. <laughs> or not. I shoot, guess I don't give that to him. Oh. What else? Holy cannon. Fuck oh. yeah. <laughs> Holy cannon. What the hell is that? Fuck Thunderclaw. This ain't no this ain't no Mega Man 8. <laughs> or was it Mega Man 7? I forget. I think it was Mega Man uh... 8, actually. Oh well. So because we did beat him, you know, he did promise that if we if we, if we beat him that he would go ahead and, and, and take the job. Like, they're still gonna get their payments. But like, um, you know, this was effect like us beating him was effectively his way of, of seeing, okay, we're trustworthy enough, I guess. It's like, sure, why not? It's like, so it took me beating the crap out of you to go, oh, okay, well. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like, dude, with how hard I spank, with how hard you utterly spank him, it's like, it's like, bitch, I demand a trophy. It's like, g g g give me your curly Frenchman tail that's hanging off your ass, and then we'll have a deal. I want a fucking trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one of your heads. You don't need all three. Give me God tier. Yeah, so when you do be Grand Drachmon, don't worry, you don't gotta pay a dime. So the, 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 the union will cover all the bills. Uh, all. As it should. That is actually kind of a dumb thing, too, because it's it literally like... I, I forget... I, I, we'll see the we'll see the prize for uh, uh you know, the reward for actually before I continue what's the, what's our reward again? Let's see. Oh okay, okay. So it actually does look like you actually do get paid back if you if you uh for completing the quest if you do uh if if you if you do choose to pay up front, but you only make but you only make like a six like a six thousand dollar profit as opposed to a sixteen thousand dollar profit. So, right. They do pay you back, but you know, not. It, it, I guess it depends. Would you rather s the extra money and experience, or would you rather the crappy item? Your choice. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. 
Now please, uh, Tamer, help me find some gorgeous nuts. Yes, who's, who's ready to find some nuts? It's like gorgeous um, nuts. So uh, what makes it, so what makes these nuts gorgeous? Well, clearly they're they're, they're pretty. They're I so guess. pretty to look at. I could just eat them up. Ow! Also, yeah, this is kind of a fucked mission because, like, this, this, it, cause I, I kind of agree with Verm with, with Vermilimon here. It is a matter of survival of the fittest. I mean, yeah, he's kind of a jerk for stealing the other guy's food, but that's just kind of how it works in nature. And now we're kind of stealing them back. But then again, I guess that means we're the fittest. So fuck you. <laughs> give me your nuts. <laughs> that that is, that is true. It's only out of the give kindness me. of my heart that I gave him back to that I gave him back to Tortamon. Hey, little shrimp, give me your gorgeous nuts. <laughs> and your lunch money. What? Oh man, I just I just cut I just saved that money from beating up Grand Jackmon. <laughs> The fuck your lunch money is like ten thousand bits? What the hell? <laughs> the whole kind of lunch, the whole kind of the lunch do you get? The uh, gra oh the, uh, gra the uh, Grand the Grand Drachmon lunch. It's like I eat him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, sounds. Mm, sounds like my kind of meal. Delicious. God damn it. I was trying to think of a really expensive, like a really expensive fast food restaurant or something, but like none's coming to mind right now. After, like, God damn it. <laughs> uh, that feel when you're, when, when, when you're trying to end off the joke, but you fucking can't because you have terrible memory. <laughs> either that or none, either that or none exists, and I'm just thinking of something that, that, that doesn't that isn't, that isn't really a thing. I can't go for uh, broke and just say and just say Vic and Anthony's. Have you guys ever heard of Vic uh, and Anthony's? Wait, what was it called again? Vic and Anthony's. It's, it's not a fast food. It's, it's like a really posh, expensive restaurant. Oh, amazing man, steak you know, though. Hey, yeah, you know what? I can't say I have heard of that one. It may just be a Houston thing. I, I, I'm not even sure if it's really a chain. It may just be a, like a single restaurant that, that just exists in Houston. Hmm. Eh, possibly. Like I've only been there twice. Once when uh, my rich uh, my my rich uncle brought us all there for um. Uh, for, I, th I think it was for some kind of giant family get together. I forget what it was, what the occasion was. Um, oh, real quickly. Uh, so this side quest is kind of bullshit. So every single side quest that we did up to this point kind of followed a linear path where when you first entered the air the area, it would kind of it would it would kind of throw you into a specific spot, and then you would just walk down the trail. And when you find the first Digimon you have to talk to or fight. If there's more Digimon that you have to fight or talk to, you'd keep walking down the trail, right? Like, you, you, yeah. you keep walking down the path to continue the quest. This one kind of throws you for a loop. So, when you find Gabumon, you'd think you have to keep walking the same direction to find Woodmon here, but no. Actually, you when you find Gabumon, you gotta walk back the way you came first to find Woodmon, and then walk forward past Gabumon to find Red Vegemon. Kind oh, of a dick move. So they're just circle jerking you around, basically. Yeah, because like like every it doesn't matter how many times I play this game, this game, every time I do this quest, I ever like I always keep walking forward to the very end of the goddamn of the goddamn arena find nothing and then when i get to the end that's when i backtrack to find woodmon it's like god damn it ah yeah that's yeah that is rather bullshit and this is the only quest that does this too it's like what the fuck guys? oh thank god <laughs> thank god that's the only time something like this happens in the game It's like you can't. It's like you can't set up every single side quest to be one way, and then and then do one side quest set up to circle jerk you. <laughs> okay, in order for me to initiate this side quest, I need to talk to this this one Digimon, and then I gotta literally go to the next area, walk around in circles like ten times, so that Woodmon would appear. Also, I can't believe Cherrymon here is, str is stronger than Grand Drachmon. <laughs> like as you can see, he's taking he's taking the, my hits way better than Grand Drachmon did. <laughs> wow, wow, Grand Drachmon! How does it feel knowing that a tr fucking cherry tree is more powerful than your sorry ass? Yeah, Grand Drachmon, you're a mega. This guy's an ultimate. Get fucked. <laughs>
<laughs> Merchant fucked of by Get fucked by nature. Yeah, he's called. Why called the Merchant of Death? Because you die. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, we got Cherry Mon here. I am Groot. Uh. Uh. Also, L Lilymon, why are you hanging out in the frozen tundra? Fairly certain that's bad for your leaves. Oh well. <laughs> ho hum, whatever. You go ahead and freeze your wings off, I guess. You do you. I mean, whatever you gotta do to cool yourself off, it's like, alright, okay, that's cool. Wait, what was this quest again? Oh, that's right, the ultimate pancake. Oh, the ultimate pancake. <laughs> and what's the ultimate pancake? M pa can't pick. Oh, <laughs> can't pick. <laughs> God damn it. The <laughs> ultimate pancake made out of Gesumon legs and Octomon legs. So, oh, so a, so a pancake made entirely out of fish? A out of squid tentacles and octopus tentacles. What the so... fuck kind of pancake is that? A it's, sushi pancake. Yeah, that's like, you know, like an alternative to a crab cake. Squid cake. Huh. It's, like, it's like, now you actually think of it, it actually does sound pretty damn good. Does it? Even like, <laughs> with like, like, cause, okay, here's the thing. When I, when I think of pancakes, I imagine, you know, like, you know, like, a pancake made, you know, the way you would normally make it, you know, with, with, Y y you know, with well, you're like, um, well, but, well, yeah, you're talking about a sweet pancake. There are savory pancakes too. Well, I'm aware of that, but it just, just, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, get a savory pancake. Yeah, with like you know, squid tentacles like calamari. You get like you know, octopus in there, kind of like what you get with sushi. Yeah, that actually sounds really damn good right now. Hmm. I guess when you put it like that, yeah. Cause yeah, I guess I, I I was kind of always imagining it as yeah as like a sweet pancake with like with like tentacles coming out of it, but, but, yeah with octopus tentacles. Cause like I like calamari and I like pancakes. They don't sound too good together, but like the way you oh, yeah. put it, yeah, that that actually does sound kind of good. Yeah, well, well, cause that's the thing, you know. Yeah, naturally, when everybody hears the word pancake, you're thinking like IHOP. You know, I want the syrup. <laughs> I want yeah, the yeah. I want the butter. I want the fruit. You know, you want something sweet because that's usually I want the what you do. the chocolate chips and the chocolate syrup. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, that's usually what we think of when we think pancakes, but there are savory ones, too. So it's like, you know, that's where it's like, hmm. Like, yeah, kind of like, yeah, like, do, do like a savory, like, crab cake type of thing, but fill that up with, like, all different kinds of seafood? That actually sounds really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Mental cure. This heals MP. Fuck oh, yeah. And, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, as if you weren't broken already. <laughs> also, is this not a type of Digimon cannibalism? <laughs> uh... these, these aren't just random creatures. We we took these off of sentient creatures. And we're giving uh... it to, and we're giving it to uh, an su elephant. Uh, uh, survival of the fittest. We'll like see you on next time. It, and we're giving it to an elephant. Yeah. <laughs> Sure, why not? We'll see you all next time. <laughs>